Josh Gad has told us this week they want to take some pressure off the quarterback position and put him in an easier spot, and they do here with the pitch and catch. For the six-yard pass play to Crookshank. As Vedrill under pressure, and down he goes. Wrapped up by Christopher Hinton. Game's lost now, dating back to last season. As Milton went three for three on the opening drive. Now four for four, and he goes right back to Cornelius Jones. To throw Milton. Deep ball looking for Jackson, and there's one of those throws with touch, with accuracy, and on the money to Jackson to the Rutgers 45. It's in Christian Trimble in motion, and it's another reverse, but it's bobbled, and Shami Jones almost fumbled it away to Adam Shibley. The touchdown of this season. Now, all of those completions were last week, and here's his first completion, and he goes right to it through the touchdown pass to last week. Mike Sane was still there. Jeff Servinsky and the crew get it right. But it was a first down to the 46. And McNamara heaves it in wide open and walking into the end zone. Cornelius Johnson, there is your spark. There is some kind of coverage, boss. Brendan White is on Johnson, and it's just a double move. You're aggressive on defense. You send pressure. You leave your safety on an island. Our own 39. Pressure coming underneath. Blake Corum with a convoy. McNamara with a throw to the sideline. It's caught. A second left. Rising up for the catch is Mike Sainer still. The question is, where will the offense start? We're about to find out. Well, the kickoff by Justin Davidovitz. Giles Jackson. A return. A lot of room to return. And down the sideline. And he just sprints through that gaping hole. And they won't have to worry about the running game right now because Jackson has returned the opening kickoff of the second half for a touchdown. Sophomore from Antioch, California. Well, as you see, they do a directional kick. They're trying to put the ball down on top of the numbers. They get that executed, and look, there is no one there. I'll finish it. Nods his head at the end. And the bit of it's there. Borum gets just enough. And Did on third and 12. And here they come, and it's picked up, and it's McNamara throwing, and it's Eric Hall with the catch and a first down. Threw a beauty on the button to Eric Hall. And now it's Haskins. And Haskins with a lot of room. 20-yard line and tracked down at the 10. On that one, two plays ago when they had only 17 yards the whole first half on the ground. McNamara to throw the little pop pass is caught. Touchdown, Nick Eubanks. It was not in terrible position. You see right there, it gets his hips around. Nice little touch pass. Blake Horn. Stumbles, stays on his feet, bounces outside. Let's just go out and execute. This thing will settle down. Punt here by Brad Robbins. Oh, and Crookshank able to avoid or absorb the hit, that is. And now motion by Jones, a little misdirection. And it is Vedral. That's the most in Michigan history. Jet sweep moving to the right and twirling and staying on his feet is Ronnie Bell. Now fourth down, slant pass. Chris Evans caught it, turns up field first down, and bumped it to 20 and to the 16. Matchup that he wanted. You mentioned it's way outside, and Chris Evans working one on one with Tyreek Maddox Williams. Able to beat him on the slant. 17 to nothing. Play clock winding down, snap off in time, another slant. Mike Sainra still, touchdown. There's the first Michigan lead early in the fourth quarter. Now Federal with Josh Ross coming after him and caught him. He tried to spin away from Ross. Ross, the captain, his 35th career game. This football game, see if he can have one more touchdown. Splendid performance tonight. He finds an open Ronnie Bell, who swerves back to his left, and then the turf monster got him at the 30-yard line. Try to put this thing away. It's been effective, it's been methodical so far. Zipped to Cornelius Johnson, got a block from Ronnie Bell. First down to the 30. There's Haskins. Darts to his right. Room up the middle, first down. That play and its patience that typifies what's transpired on this drive. Cornelius Johnson looking for a block from Ronnie Bell. Got enough of a block and then tight ropes the sideline and is in for the touchdown for Michigan. 
touchdown. The lead is 35-27. As Johnson with a good balance. Pacheco, motion out of the backfield, and this could be a negative play. It is a negative play. To end a three-game losing skid. Ambrosio, it's sailing off to the left, and no good. It has to respond. Which they've done ever since Tate McNamara came into the game. And that is a good throw on the move. A bullet throw to Giles Jackson. Rutgers timeout. And it's McNamara keeping it and diving for the end zone. He scores. He ran it a couple of times on the last drive. His number will be called again. And he is able to find a little crease off to the right side. Ben Mason is the H-back. Motion by Ronnie Bell. Snap to McNamara. And leaping in is Hassan Haskins. Touchdown, Michigan. Nice job staying disciplined by Green. Pacheco in motion. Third and six. Ned will look right. And he slides down to the 24. He's played well. They converted a fourth and nine for a touchdown to force overtime. Now to keep the game alive on fourth and nine. Throwing for the end zone into double coverage and intercepted, and Michigan wins. Daxton Hill seals the deal, and Michigan's losing streak comes to an end. Cade McNamara. And ultimately, Daxton Hill finish off a 48-42 three-overtime win.